Hello again, I am Units and I am back to recording Hocus Pocus. I am an intelligent person and I decided to promise that I was going to make more videos right before a major holiday. So don't know what I was thinking, but restore the game and watch a black screen. There we are. We are the same as we ever were in our dazzling little land of mushrooms and lightning bolts. And unfortunately, I do not have my cool little lightning bolt from last time. But regardless, I'm going to blow things up with it. Because I can. And honestly, I I don't know what gives me the right to blow them up, but I guess they're shooting at me first, so we'll call it self-defense. As I am committing an act of self-defense. And stupidity. And I'm getting charged by a mushroom. Honestly, whoever thought of mushrooms as enemies? I mean, I know Mario did it, but at least when Mario did it, they were kind of the pathetic little enemy that you stepped on to kill. In this game, the giant things charge you at high speed. But I guess I shouldn't question the mushroom or falling in spikes. And by the way, I love the spikes move. They do like a little dance down there. I mean, I'm sure it hurts more, but it looks cool. It's like they're dancing to the music, and I should add, the music here is incredibly groovy. Do you not believe so? You can tell what year this game was made in. And I'm shooting crocodiles at Spitfire, which I guess would make them dragons. But they look more like crocodiles. I never really thought them into the all that dragonish. And I'm doing really badly. Fortunately, we're still in early levels that are actually really easy. And I totally could have gotten that key earlier if I'd been looking, but I wasn't. And I get more potions. Now. Um, like I said, I actually said a lot of things in that first uh, part of this video series, so I have no idea what I'm going to start saying now. So, happy birthday? Yes. Oh, I promised I'd throw a party. I'm going to have to make a vlog about that now. Because I promised everybody I said I'd make a party when I reached 73 subscribers, and I believe I'm at 76! Um, of course, I'll, I'll check my video thing and it will say I'm not to like 77 or something, but regardless, you all deserve a party. I am going to have to throw one. Um, unfortunately, I do not have confetti on me, and if I did, it wouldn't matter because you can't actually see me. Which means I could have told you I had confetti, and you wouldn't have known any better, and that would have been the party. So, I am going to lie fragrantly about how wonderfully set up I am, and you can't see any of it. So, you'll just have to imagine that I'm sitting in a giant, like, bathtub of confetti, surrounded by balloons and, and other things that make parties, like monkeys. Nothing makes a party like a barrel of monkeys. Warning, not as fun as previously anticipated. Honestly, being thrown into a barrel full of monkeys would hurt. Those things are violent, and they don't really like people. They're not all that friendly. Now, a barrel full of puppies or a barrel full of kitties? Hope you found the secret treasure room. Oh, yes, I did. Don't worry, I'm not stupid, whatever you may think. But, um, barrels full of puppies or kitties or things like that, those would be cute. Though, I suppose... It also depends on your perspective. If you're allergic to puppies or kitties, it would not be cute. It would be traumatizing because you'd be having a severe allergic reaction. And you probably would stop breathing. And breathing is good for your health. Um, regardless, I have managed to talk about completely irrelevant things for quite a while now. While blowing up these little red things. Which are actually quite useless because they only actually shoot down. But I think I mentioned that last video. And here's a giant treasure room, full of garnet, I guess? Garnet's blue, isn't it? Or no, garnet's red. I don't know what the blue things are. Um, can anybody think of a blue gem out there? Could you tell me? Oh, I don't suppose you can. You are on the other side of the video, aren't you? Well, I suppose if you built some sort of trans-temporal device to talk through space and time, you could tell me, but that might create a temporal paradox, because by telling me, I would be able to react back with you in the future, which would change your responses in the future, creating a giant temporal paradox, tearing apart space and time. But, at least you get to talk to your favorite people on YouTube, so it would be totally worth it, right? Sure. Ah! 
and I jumped in spikes again. Now, I said this game would get harder, and that is what I meant. If you'll notice, the thing didn't actually trigger when I got close, it waited for me to get a full crocodile past it and over spikes. This game, I assure you, will continue to do things like that. Remember, this is the same game that helped Pioneer Doom, so traps are very much in their line of thinking. And we get the last crystal! I'm so special, I get to say Yahoo repeatedly! And I got 100% of the treasure, and I, oh, I missed the time by three seconds! It was probably the time I spent sitting at the intro not actually being productive in the darndest. And probably that time I spent in the treasure room dancing around and talking about barrels of monkeys. So I'll blame the monkeys, it's all their fault. Anyway, now as you'll notice in this black screen the music is slightly different, and by slightly different I mean completely different. We went from Happy Mushroom Land to Dark and Ominous Cathedral. This is their transition of, this game is going to get harder. Instead of mushrooms, we're going to throw grizzly bears at you. Which, in all honesty, are indeed much more terrifying. Still, secret passages are normal, extra lightning bolts, health potions, all the basics. Not, it's not ridiculously hard. But it is a big transition, and I think the music and the scenery in this stage are some of my favorite at kind of conveying that. And also they begin showing how jerkishly they can place these little grizzly bears, because you have to take a hit there and just kind of get hurt. Fortunately, this game is still pretty lenient on the healing potions, so you can do that occasionally. Just try not to make a habit of it. And I got a crystal, and they put one right above it! I really don't know why they didn't just make one crystal. I guess they felt like seven was a lucky number? Instead of six, maybe they were like six, and they were like, Oh, we should make a seven! Lucky number seven! Great idea! Um, now, these creatures require quite a few more hits on the mushrooms, but they're still not unreasonable, especially because once they get close to you, you can really fire these uh, bolts off pretty quickly, especially if you test both alt keys at the same time, because both of them are fire keys, and this game is completely semi-automatic, meaning you fire as fast as you can press buttons. Oh, it took me 67 years to grow this beard. That is so useful for me to know in absolutely no way whatsoever. Now, by walking up here, I have accomplished absolutely nothing, because I didn't activate the secret trick that opens up those levers down there. So I just wasted a good 20 to 30 seconds of your time. Oh well, I apologize. We'll see what I can do to make that up to you. And you got the moon in the background. I love the moon. It's all, like, full moon with a hint of a crescent on it. Maybe it's a waning moon. Oh, is that the waxing? I'm really not sure. Regardless. Alright, and here are the flying enemies. You'll notice that these do not shoot down, they shoot side to side. Which in this case makes them not too bad. But, oh, the wizard by the way gets really annoying when you're shooting up, because you've topped him. The switches must be set in the correct combination before anything will happen. Well, I kind of accidentally set them while I was fighting the stupid dragon things, so... I guess that worked out! Okay then, wizard! Your challenge has been met and defeated! Now, I said that they would place some enemies jerkishly. Some of them, they just kind of put there to be destroyed like that. I really don't know what they were trying to accomplish. But I don't mind. Now again, they're going to do a lot of these switch puzzles. There we go, where you hit things and things happen. Ah, uh, so many bears, I'm going to die, and that is what happens when you die. I was completely intentional, I just wanted to show you what happens when you die. Uh, it tells you how many treasures you found. Um, I got 53% of the treasures, actually, and yes. And then just start you at the back of the beginning of the level, you don't have lives, um, you just kind of go on. So. Uh, this video has run on for several minutes, uh, almost 10, so I'm going to go ahead and stop it here. Save this game. I am 
units. And um, thank you very much for watching this. Words of wisdom. Don't run into rooms full of bears. You'll get mauled to death and it will probably hurt. And if it doesn't hurt, is it because you're dead? So, adieu, fair audience. Adieu.